Hi there guys, my name is Jacob and welcome to my channel. Now in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about how I have managed to achieve paying nothing, that's right, zero pounds for my energy bills across the entirety of 2025. And actually I'll go one further than that. The energy company actually owe me money, not the other way around. So I've actually profited from my energy bills in 2025. So I'm gonna to explain to you exactly how I've managed to do that and how it is actually achievable if you have the right setup. Now, the premise of this video kind of came about from me reading an article that was talking about the new zero bills homes that the government is trying to build. And I believe they've already built a few hundred of these homes, but they're aiming for sort of 10,000 or 100,000 of these homes. Um, over the next kind of five or ten years and the idea behind zero bills homes is basically they partner up with a company such as octopus energy who will go in there when the house is being built install a lot of you know equipment such as solar panels um, a battery a heat pump things like that and they will basically guarantee for that person who owns that house that they will not have any bills for, I think it's a set period of time, like 10 years, something like that. So effectively, that homeowner has zero bills for that period of time. But the thing is, on this article that I was reading, th there was a lot of comments on it, and they were overwhelmingly negative. And they were saying, you know, such things as nobody, you know, not many people have the money to be able to afford one of these houses, because to be quite honest, they're not cheap. Um, th there was a lot of people saying, oh, it's all well and good for people who have new homes. But what about people who live in old houses? You know, what about people who can't afford this equipment? All these different things. You know, you can imagine what people were saying. Um, but as I said, it was overwhelmingly negative. But I was sat there reading it and I was thinking, well, I live in a 1950s semi-detached house. There is nothing special about this house. It's not, you know, overly well insulated. Um, I don't have a heat pump. I have a normal combi gas boiler. Um, and yet I have managed to achieve a zero bills house. And I would say it is achievable for a lot of people. Um, more than you would imagine anyway. Um, and, you know, there are some caveats to this. Um, you know, I have paid a certain amount of money for solar panels and a battery and things like that. But I'm going to go into all that in this video. So if you want to know how I've achieved this, stick around. Right then, so let's go back to the start. When I first bought this house, and we're talking about three years ago, um, it was just a standard semi-detached house, as I said, 1950s. Um, so not particularly well insulated or, you know, anything special about it. But my energy bills at the time were roughly around £1,200 um, for the year. That's annually. Um, and that's split across electric and gas and obviously the standing charges that come with that. So I think my electric charges were roughly about £600 for the year. And my gas was roughly the same, sort of five to £600 for the year. Uh, and that includes the standing charges. And, you know, prices, well, unit rates and costs of energy just keep going up. And it was frustrating me, even though me and my wife are kind of low users of energy. Um, and I think that kind of reflects in the fact that our bills are, you know, about £1,200. Um, you know, quite, quite low users, but that's still £100 a month. And I was getting really frustrated that that, that figure just never seemed to stop going up. And I assumed that over time, that's just going to keep going up. So I wanted to do something about it. Um, and that is when I turned to start researching about solar panels and batteries and what could I do with the money that I had to be able to make this house better, more comfortable to live in, more affordable to live in, that type of thing. So that's why I started looking at solar panels. And in January of 2025, so literally a year ago, I committed to it and I thought, you know what? I don't know how well this is going to work out. I don't know how much it's going to reduce my bills, but I know it's going to have some positive effect. And my kind of goal in my head uh, was if I could reduce my bills by half, so go from the £1,200 mark sort of down to around five or £600, that would ulti ultimately be a massive win. 
Um, and I would have been happy with that had that have been the outcome. So I started getting quotes um, and ultimately I went with a local solar installer and the whole package that I got was £9,000. Now I know straight away people are going to be saying not everybody's got £9,000 to just splash on solar panels and batteries and I get that. And to be quite honest, when I started looking into it, I didn't have that money either. It's something that me and my wife, you know, after lots of conversations, decided we were going to save up for because we thought ultimately it was going to be worthwhile. So as I said, we saved up for it and we went for it in January of 2025. So for £9,000, you might be wondering, what did I get for that money? Um, and I got 13 solar panels put on the back of my house and the side of my house. So 13 in total, um, which I think roughly comes to about 5.7 kilowatt, um, kilowatts of power that they can produce. I also got a 9.5 kilowatt battery, and that is located in my garage. And I also got an EV charger, so an electric car charger. Now, at the time, I didn't have an electric car, but I thought as, you know, as things are going and things are progressing towards electric cars being the norm, I thought, you know, to future-proof myself, let's just get one installed whilst they're doing everything. So as a package, that is what I went for. So as I said, £9,000. Now, in January of 2025, when I got this all installed, as I said, my bills were roughly £1,200 annually, and I was looking to hopefully reduce that down to half, if possible. And from what I kind of calculated and what the installers had told me, that seemed a reasonable kind of expectation. But there were lots of added benefits that I did not know about prior to having all this installed. And this is where I've managed to reduce my bills, as I said at the start of the video, to zero. And actually the energy company owe me money. And the whole system has just worked so much better than I ever thought possible. So in January, 2025, of course, I got the solar panels installed, I got the battery installed, and immediately this allowed me to change from the standard electricity and gas tariff that I was on to, it basically opened up new tariffs available to me because I have solar and a battery. And this is something I wasn't aware of prior. And basically these tariffs, you can make the most of them. Um, they offer cheaper rates overnight for you to charge the battery. They also offer the ability to export excess energy from your solar panels to the grid. So what that means for anyone that doesn't know is basically when solar panels are generating energy, of course, in the house, you can use that energy as it's being generated. You can also store it in the battery that I've had installed. But there's the third option of if you're generating too much energy, you can export it to the grid and get paid for that energy. And... The combination of all three is how I've ultimately managed to reduce my bills to zero. Now, as I said, we started off with bills of around £1,200. Once I'd switched over onto one of these more efficient solar and battery tariffs, and mine is through Octopus Energy, um, but you can get very similar tariffs with a whole bunch of other providers. But basically, just making that switch over to a solar and battery tariff pretty much halved my bills overnight. So that was without the effects of the solar and the battery. That was just basically switching to a solar and battery tariff that provides me with better preferential rates because of the equipment I've got, which allowed me basically to just use overnight energy to power my house um, and charge my battery and different things like that. And again, none of this was I was aware of prior to having this equipment installed and, you know, learning how it all works. So I basically already halved my bills overnight and I've just got the figures written down in front of me for basically my total costs for 2025. This is electric and gas and the standing charges are included. So as I mentioned to you before, 2024, my electric was about 600 for the year, but in 2025, once I'd had all this um, equipment, solar, battery, everything installed, my electric cost dropped down to £348. So it's more or less halved, just a little over, but more or less halved. 
and my gas costs went down from around five, six hundred pounds down to 283 pounds. So my total costs from Octopus Energy to myself for the year of 2025 were 631 pounds and 46 pence. So that is what they charged me for all the energy I used. And as I said, I've got a combi gas boiler. So that covers heat in the house and it covers everything electric in the house too. Um, £631. But as I said before, I have managed to get my bills down to zero. So the missing ingredient to do that is the energy that I've exported to the grid. And this is something that has just blown me away with how effective this has been. And I'll just tell you straight away now, for the whole of 2025, I managed to export £720 worth of energy to the grid. So as you can see, I told you my total charges for the year were £631, but I exported £720 worth of energy to the grid. So overall, I am roughly £90 in profit for the year of 2025 with in regards to my energy bills and all of this has just been achieved simply by installing solar panels on the roof and a battery in the garage and of course switching to one of these better solar and battery tariffs. Now as I mentioned before I live in a 1950s semi-detached house. Other than installing the solar panels and a battery we haven't done anything else to this house to make it more efficient. You know, it, it has some form of cavity wall insulation that was done many years ago. Um, all the windows are double glazed. Um, we have some bifold doors, again, that are double glazed. Um, but we have a solid concrete floor that has no insulation. Um, and yeah, we have loft insulation as well to the standard depth of what it should be. But other than that, you know, this is not what you would class as like an eco home or, you know, a, a carbon free home or, you know, whatever they call it, where they've just packed it with insulation and everything to have it really highly performing. This I would class this as just a, a standard semi detached house built in the 1950s with a few modern things thrown in like double glazing and cavity wall insulation. But those are things realistically that most houses have these days. So the only thing I have done to make it better is install the solar panels and added a battery in the garage. And as I mentioned, it cost me £9,000. Now, I know that is a lot of money and not everybody watching this video is going to have £9,000 to throw at their house. But it is something that I think people can save for and potentially achieve over time. And ultimately, if you like myself and my wife, where we are relatively low users of energy, these type of figures are achievable. And, you know, as I mentioned at the start of the video, zero bills homes are something that the government are trying to achieve with, to be honest, quite expensive modern homes that are packed full of insulation and equipment that makes them incredibly efficient. But in fact, I think we have managed to achieve and prove that actually zero bills homes are achievable in standard, normal, older homes. And that is something that I never thought was possible when I kind of started this experiment with solar panels. Um, as I mentioned, I thought if I could halve my bills, get them down to that 500, 600 pound mark, that would be really affordable for us and worthwhile getting the solar panels and everything. But, you know, they, they have performed so much better than I ever thought they would. Um, and I'm just incredibly pleased and excited for the future to kind of see how this carries on over time. Um, and I want to get the word out to people watching this channel. And just as I mentioned, the article that I read about the Zero Bills Homes was just filled with negativity. And people just basically saying it's impossible. It's too expensive. It's not available to the everyman. And I just wanted to get the word out and say, I don't think that's correct. I actually think it is available to... Well, simply a lot more people than you might think um, and a lot more homes than you might think. Because as I said, this is a 1950s house. There's really nothing special about it. And yet I've managed to 
get my bills down to the to where I don't pay an energy bill anymore. And that is just something I never thought possible. Now, I just want to explain quickly how it works with the exported energy, because I know that is a common question. Basically, Octopus Energy, who is my energy provider, they, um, through my smart meter that I've got, they could monitor what energy I use and what energy I send to the grid. Um, and at the end of every month, they just credit my energy account with the amount of exported energy that I've sent to the grid. And then that credit um, sits on my account. They then bill me for the energy that I have used. So that's the electric and the gas in kind of the winter months, such as January that we're in now. So the credit minus the electric and gas bill, and then I'm left with whatever's left on the account. And this is what I mean by a zero bills house. That's what I've managed to achieve now because my total costs for the whole year are less than the energy that I've managed to be credited for, for simply exporting energy to the grid. And that's it really, that it's as simple as that. I don't have to do a great deal of anything. Um, it all just happens by itself. Uh, the energy account just, you know, sorts itself. The credit simply keeps building up. The charges go out, but there's always far more credit in the account than there are charges coming out. And as I said before, you know, I'm amazed, but I've managed to get to a point now where I don't pay an energy bill. And for the year of 2025, my energy did not cost me a penny. Obviously, that's a little, I'll caveat that with, I did pay £9,000 for the equipment, but, you know, long term, you know, that £9,000 is going to pay for itself over and over. Um, you know, the solar panels and the battery are going to pay me far more in their lifetime than the £9,000 that they cost me. So I personally think it has been a great investment. I know not everybody will think that, but personally, I think it's been a great investment for myself and I would do it again and again. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you think of all this. Um, you know, I'd be interested to know if you've got solar panels yourself or you're thinking of getting solar panels and if this conversation has kind of helped you in any way decide whether you want to go down that route or not. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button because I am just a small channel and things like that really do help the channel grow and allow more people to see my videos. And guys, if you made it this far, I just want to say a massive thank you. Um, I appreciate every single one of you that watch my videos. Right then, guys, I will leave it there. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.